What's up, people? Welcome to I Intend to Survive, brought to you by the Sweet Outdoors. All right, today we're going in survival mode. I mentioned earlier in the week that, you know, we, we talk about a get-home bag, an emergency kit for your vehicle. Today, we're going to build one, so stick around. What goes in an emergency kit? All right, now this kit is not going to be a mechanical kit, meaning we're not building an emergency kit for to fix the car if it breaks down, jumper cables and stuff like that. You should have that already. This is going to be if let's take the situation that happened on 95 up in the northeast part of the United States where people got stuck on the freeway for over 24 hours. We're thinking about, you know, you know, in any situation where you're in your vehicle and you just need something to get you to get you by overnight, whether it's, you know, something happens and you need to get home. It's a it's basically an emergency get home bag. What I'm going to show you is a minimal kit. As I've told you many a times, make it your own. We're just going to cover the basic needs. Just some of the basic needs to put in a kit. First thing you're going to need is a bag. This one right here is just a little small mechanics tool bag. To me, that's perfect. The one that I have in my truck is about this dang big, and I'm going to redo it because there's just too much stuff in there. I've got stuff in there that I've got in the toolbox of my truck, but I've got them in the bag as well. So I got to redo that. You want to make this a minimal kit just to have the stuff you need. At the same time, we're going to cover the five C's. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now you, you've seen my review on this stuff here in a previous video. And that's why I bought this stuff was for this kit. You want a flashlight. So boom. We have a flashlight. You want a knife. You know, you, you want a decent knife in there. So we got a fairly decent knife to put in there. Whatever knife you want to put, whatever, any of this stuff you want to put. I'm not saying go out and buy these particular items. I'm just giving you an idea of some stuff to put in there. Now, it came with a multi-tool. You've seen, you seen the multi-tool that I put in there. Well, that came with it. I think I'm going to replace it. I'm not going to use this multi-tool. I think a uh, kit for your car needs to have something a little more veered that way. So we're going to go with this one. You've seen the review on this one as well. I mean, it's, it's a knife. It's a crescent wrench. Crescent wrench. It's a pair of pliers. It's got screwdriver stuff. It's a multi-tool. I think this one for a kit for your car is a little better than that one right there. So we're going to put this one in this car kit. Okay, uh, cordage. I ain't going to say no more now, cordage. Container. Boom. Some kind of a water bottle. Bottles of water. Some people put bottles of water. A filtration straw. We're just going to go ahead and drop this in there. That way, we've got a water bottle and a filtration straw right here. Boom. All right. Combustion. Now, I'm going to put two forms of combustion in here because we got some people that don't know how to use one. We got a lighter. This is just a lighter keeper. It's on a carabiner. Little knife blade. What you know? I just I'm just going to throw it in there. You know, just because I have it. And there it is now this is going to be your coverage now people say well why do I need that I have my car the coverage can also be used for other things not to mention in this kit there's also another form of combustion a compass and a whistle 
but there are also two emergency blankets. These are big blankets and there's two of them in here. So you might not need to build a shelter, but you might want to stay warm. So you have two emergency blankets as well as a fire striker. So you've got three form, two forms of starting a fire and you've got some emergency blankets. Another thing that you want to put in there is some kind of face covering, you know, because you never know, it could be smoke, it could be ash, it could be anything, you know, a nice cotton shemog or, you know, one of these face coverings, N95 mask, whatever, but you want something like this in there as well, because you just, you just never know what you're going to run into. And like I said, you know, some people will, you know, you can put bottles of water. In my truck, I have a couple of bottles of water that I keep in my truck at all times, just just in case, you know. But another thing you want to, that you might want to consider putting in your kit is some kind of some kind of food. We're not talking we're not talking meals. We're talking about just something that'll get you by if you're stuck out there for a few hours. Just something. I mean, even though you can last three days without food, uh, the food is a comfort in an emergency situation. Uh, my goodness it's iced tea I swear but in an emergency situation that little bit of comfort food will go a long way now you can either go with some granola bars cliff bars protein bars stuff like that you can throw an MRE in there I have an MRE in mine that I have in my truck but, you know, it's whatever you want to put, you know, some, like I said, some granola bars, bag of beef jerky, you know, cliff bars, protein bars, you know, whatever you like to keep in there. And just, you know, just keep this stuff in the trunk of your car, and under the seat in your truck, you know, whatever. That way you have that stuff. Uh, there was a situation, me and my wife and my daughter, we were on vacation. I forget where we were I think it was up and it was on the beach somewhere and we went into the store and bought something when we get out to the car to put all the stuff in we needed a knife to to cut something with well my wife my wife don't carry a knife you know and I just I for some reason I didn't have mine on me I think I left it back at the hotel I don't even remember but we didn't have a knife and I told her, I said, we need to put a bag together to keep in her car. She's not on, she's not on track with it like I am. She don't, she don't, she don't walk the same path as I do. But it's always good to have some kind of cutting equipment, cutting tool in your car. Um, whether it be just a plain pocket knife, uh, the, the Gordon Harbor Freight knife pocket knife that I did the review on is a perfect one for your car it's got a seat belt cutter it's got a window breaker it's a knife I mean it, it's perfect but that's what you know these kits are for for that situation where you need that knife or you know um, you have a flat tire or your car breaks down you're out in the middle of nowhere and you're beside a a, a pond or a canal or something like that it's a hundred degrees outside you're dying of thirst you know and you need something to drink you got a water bottle and a filtration straw right there no it's not going to be the best tasting water in the world but it's going to be safe water to drink and you'll have a couple you know protein bars or granola bars to go with you until somebody gets out there to help you or to you can get some help um, like I said, this is just a minimal kit, guys. I'm just trying to give you ideas on how to make it, how to make a decent kit to put in your car. Build your own. Make it your own. Your situation will be different from mine. That's all I'm saying. I hope you enjoyed this little quick video. And be sure to thumbs up, like, subscribe, notification, download, and share. Uh, check us out on Facebook at the Sweet Outdoors. And uh, I just want to say thank you to all the subscribers, the new subscribers, and the future subscribers. You guys are great. I appreciate every single one of you. And I hope to be bringing you a lot more 
quality content that you're wanting to see. With that being said, be safe. God bless. Get outside, people. Make sure you take your kit with you.